everyone, welcome to Two Car Pros. My name is Ryan and today we are kind of continuing our series on how to replace a modern battery. And what do I mean by that is we're going to tell the computer today that we've replaced the battery. And you have to do that in modern vehicles. And why do you have to do that? Well, the computer in modern vehicles is smart enough to know that batteries degrade over time. So the alternator is told to feed more charge. But what happens when an old battery, the computer thinks the charge level needs to be, you know, down here because the battery is degraded, right? So it puts in a lot more charge, and we'll see that later in the video. But what happens when you put a new battery? Well, the computer's still going to want to put that large amount of charge into a new battery, which could potentially damage it. So what do you do? Well, you follow this video. We're gonna need to plug in a fancy pants scanner and tell the computer, hey, you have a new battery in there, stop feeding it so much charge, and the computer will realize that after you've told it, and then your new battery monitor will begin, and then your computer will say, okay, it's a new battery, and it will continue to degrade, because batteries do, and it'll start feeding it more charge over time, over the next two or three years. But you have to do this step, and again, you risk damaging your new battery by feeding it too much charge it doesn't need. So you have to do this step on a modern vehicle. Let's go ahead and jump in. So where we're going to start is right here in the driver's foot well. And we're going to look up and underneath the bottom of the dash. We're going to see right there where it says OBD. We can open that to expose our OBD2 port. And then we're going to grab our scanner and we're going to plug it in to the OBD2 port just like that. Perfect. So on our Mercedes Benz here, this is how you know the ignition's on. All the lights are lit up. You can see the parking light, the traction control, brake, ABS, traction control off, check engine, tire pressure, all that good stuff. So we know the ignition's on, and the way I accomplish that is just pushing the power button twice. You push it once, and then push it again, and the gauges sweep, and this is how you get to that. On a normal car or something that has a regular key, you just flick it to the second position, but without the engine running. So here we have our fancy pan scanner. It's an Autel MaxiCom MK808, link down below in the description. I have it plugged into our Mercedes with the ignition on like I just showed. We can go ahead and select service. And right here where it says BMS, it stands for Battery Monitoring Service. So we can select that. And then we're going to ask it to read our VIN number for us so it gets everything just right. So there's our VIN number. We can hit OK. It's going to decode that information. This is all correct. Again, all correct. And it's going to communicate with the brain. So we can go ahead and select Confirmation of Battery Change because we just changed the battery in this Mercedes. And we want the computer to know we've done that. So we can see where the computer was outputting a uh, charge into our old battery at 30 amp per hour. Now we can select F1 to confirm that we've changed it. It no longer needs that much. So there you go. Zero. Perfect. Now the computer knows there's a fresh battery in there. So now it says we're done. End of procedure. We can hit continue again. Completed. And that's it. So now what we can do with the ignition on is push the power button again to turn it off. And now we can unplug our scanner. So now we can turn our scanner screen off and under here, unplug our scanner and close our door. So now the car believes that it is off. And then what I'm gonna do is we're gonna start it and observe that there is no check engine lights, there's no charge lights and our job is done. So that's how to reset your battery monitor on a modern vehicle. This is an absolutely necessary step as cars get more and more complicated. They're not going to get less complicated. They're going to get more complicated. But this is a great way that you can skirt going to the dealer and save hundreds of dollars. Honestly, the scanner is about 500 bucks. But let's say you buy the scanner at the beginning of owning a more modern vehicle. That scanner is going to more than pay for itself and give you the ability to work on your own car. Thank you so much for watching. I hope I've earned a like and a subscription from you here on YouTube. Comment anything you have down below, questions and concerns, and I'll see you next time.